Hi, in this video we're going to show you a way to wipe your Windows disk on your computer. So let's say you want to maybe recycle it because it's getting old and you don't want anybody being able to access your files or you're going to donate it to somebody else and you want to make sure your files are off the computer before doing so because obviously just deleting the files and emptying the recycle bin is not going to necessarily delete the uh, files off the hard drive because they could be recovered with you know free recovery software and then you have the pay for recovery software that does an even better job. And then you might know you could uh, boot your computer to a Windows DVD or flash drive and then format the drive and then reinstall Windows, but that doesn't necessarily remove the files either. So Windows does have a built-in feature you could use to kind of help you get rid of these files on a more permanent basis. And let me show you what I mean here. So if you go to the settings and then system, and then recovery, and then there's an option to reset this PC, which you might have seen before. So you have the option here to keep your files if you're just planning on reinstalling Windows for yourself. Then there's the remove everything option. And so of course from here you could do the cloud download or local reinstall for Windows, whichever you want to do. I'm just going to pick this one here. All right, so here's where you need to make the change here because right now it's set to remove apps and files, do not clean the drive, delete all files from Windows and reinstall Windows. So you might think just because it says delete all files from Windows drive means it's going to securely delete your files, but that's not the case. So we can click on change settings here. So you have two options here. So you have this delete files from all drives. So if you have a secondary drive with some files on it, you could choose this option. But if everything's just on Windows, uh, you don't have to worry about it or if you just want to delete what's on the windows drive most likely the c drive you could leave this off as well all right so what you want to look for here is this clean data option so right now it's set to just remove your files this is quicker but less secure if you turn this on it says it'll clean the drive it may take hours but it'll make it harder to recover the files so this is not 100 percent guaranteed that they're not going to be recoverable because this is not some type of government grade file wiping procedure here. It's just what Windows is going to do to try and clean it itself. But it's better than just, you know, formatting the disk or deleting your files and emptying them from the recycle bin. And then there are also third-party apps that'll let you clean your drive as well. Let me show you an example here. So this EasyUS Bitwiper. This has some options to do a file shredder. So let's say you wanted to drag and drop your files here and then have them shredded with the file shredder, you know, maybe your documents and pictures, you know, if you only have a few things you're worried about. And then this option here to wipe the free space, that's only going to wipe the free space from files that have already been deleted, so it's not going to affect any of your current files. So you could always delete the files and then wipe the free space. Then there's these options here to wipe a partition or wipe an entire disk, but you can't do those while Windows is running because it can't actually delete you know, the files on Windows when Windows is actually running. So what you could do here is create bootable media. So this will let you create a flash drive or a ISO file or DVD, and that way you could boot your computer and then wipe everything that way. But this program here is not free. They do have the free version, which you could do a lot of stuff. But if you click on create, for example, it tells you you have to buy it. So here's the pro edition monthly or lifetime license here. So that's one option if you plan on doing this a lot, or if you really want to make sure your deletion is secure, you could maybe spend the $40 and do it this way. All right, so I just wanted to mention that in case you're looking for something a little more secure. So then going back to the uh, Windows recovery here. So once you have this set to yes, and then once again, if you have more than one drive you want to wipe, you could turn this on. And then you have the option here to reinstall Windows from this device again. And then once you click on confirm, it'll do a couple of reboots, uh, wipe the drive, reinstall Windows, and then all your programs and all your files uh, will be gone and it'll just be a simple installation of Windows. All right, so let's cancel this here. So once again, go to your settings, system, recovery, reset this PC here, remove everything, pick if you wanna do cloud or local, reinstall, change the settings, make sure the clean data is turned on, and then you should be good to go. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe.